So you notice, what do you notice? People worried about others. They talk about what's wrong with you, but 10 things are wrong with them which they're ignoring. Allah says on the day of judgment, we're not going to ask you about this guy. We're going to ask you about yourself. You find people uttering things, saying things about all others, but what about themselves? I told you the winner, the true winner is the one who's worried about himself. Listen to the, another hadith. Tuba liman shagalahu aibu an bin nas. Give news of a place in Jannah, a special place in paradise called Tuba to the ones whose own weaknesses keep them occupied from engaging in the weaknesses of others. So what this means, I need to do nahi anil munkar, I need to remind people, but remind in a respectful way. Don't belittle, don't abuse, and don't insult. When someone is doing something wrong and you want to say something, be very calm. Allah tells you when you're speaking to the disbelievers and the enemies of Islam, speak to them with wisdom, in the case of the Pharaoh, Allah told the prophets of Allah. Allah said, go speak to him softly, nicely. Perhaps he might listen. And Allah knew he would not listen. Allah knew he's not going to come. But Allah told him, go speak softly, speak kindly, speak in a good way. Because Allah wanted to teach us that in your lives, you speaking to others. Sometimes I watch the politics between the scholars. And I feel to myself, subhanallah, in our own fraternity, the language that's used. Allah denied Musa alayhi salam to talk to Fir'aun like that. Sometimes the titles we give one another, Na'udhu Billah, where is the concern for my Qiyamah? Insha'Allah, I will never do that. Because if you are really and truly worried about that day, that's the biggest day ever. It's got so many scary names in the Quran. You would never ever open your mouth with a disrespectful term to refer to another believer, let alone a scholar. And this is why, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhiri fal yakul khayran aw li yasmut. Here's the Prophet sallallahu he clearly tells you whoever truly believes in that last day and in accountability I'm going to go back to Allah and answer for myself they will only say good words or they will keep quiet there's nothing else. You either say good words or you remain silent. Because if you get trapped by shaitan, you'll find yourself talking about others and so on. And when you want to correct them, you justify. I can insult, I can abuse, I can do. Because why? I'm doing their islah. That's an excuse. Wallahi, you need to do your own islah. If the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is not your qudwa and your leader and the one whom you are trying to emulate, then you need your own islah. You need to correct and rectify yourself. Don't be abusive. You can correct and disagree however much you want, but you've got to be respectful. You have to be a person who does not insult and abuse. The hadith says a mu'min is not someone who is fahish and badi, not a person who's abusive, insulting, vulgar, and so on. Today we are becoming like that. I am here to tell you, let's be concerned about our akhirah. Make dua for me. We make dua for you. May Allah gather us in Jannah. May Allah make that day easy for you and I.